on, put your hands together. I love that wonderful name. Put your hands together. This is the New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ, 4700 West Polk Street, on the corner of Happy and Healthy. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and what? We're going to be glad in it. So we're going to enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. We're going to be thankful and bless his holy name. And while we come in, we're going to forget everything that's out there. So we come in today with a praise on our lips. I love that wonderful name of together. This is a time of praise. You may not be able to be here, but I tell you this, God's been good to us, and so we ought to give him praise. I just want you to type, he's been good. Come on, put in there. He's been good. In spite of everything I've gone through, he's been good. Come on, put it in there and lift your hands up and let's give him some praise on the day. Love that wonderful name of Clap your hands if you love the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Today is Women's Day here at the New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ. Missionary Rosie Martin is in charge today. I just want you to hold on. Amen. The blessings of the Lord are going to come forth today. I don't know about you, but I feel real churchy in my heart. Some of y'all don't know what that means. But can I take just a half a second and tell you after all the hell that I've been through all week long, all the trouble that I've been through all week long, when I come into a place where I can lift up my hand and tell the Lord, thank you, I made it one more time. In the name of Jesus, at this time, we're going to say amen for Mother Rosie Martin or her designate to come and lead us in prayer, and then we will be in the hands of our praise team. Mother, Mother Perkett, to all the elders, to all the elders and missionaries, praise the Lord. I'm thankful to be here on today. We are thankful to be alive. I'm alive. Not only breathing, but alive in the spirit. How about that? We say, clap your hand, I'm ready. The Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good, and we thank God for our pastor. This is Women's Day. The women's are going forth on second Sunday. Praise the Lord. And we just want to have a good time, don't we? Amen. What you come here for? What you come for? I come to praise the Lord. I come to praise his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. I said I have to cry sometime. Hallelujah. But I'm not crying all the time. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's say amen for Sister Ernestine as she come and lead us in prayer. Next, I'm in the white. Everyone standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you that we know how. Lord, we come repent for all our sins in the name of Jesus. Please, God, forgive us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we surrender all to you, Lord. We say yes to your will, yes to your way, oh God. Lord, I ask you to take over, Holy Ghost. Lord, I ask you to move by your power in the name of Jesus. Oh. God, uh, bless us right now. Uh, bless our pastor right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God. Uh, do mention us a whole. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, you see what all us going through. Uh, but Lord, I just don't take us through. Uh, every touch and every trial. Uh, Lord, I just don't speak to the world. Bless up the 
Good morning. God bless everybody. The reading will be coming from Psalms. It'll be the first chapter, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the center, stand in the way of the sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law do he meditate day and night. And the word is blessed. Praise the Lord, saints. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out. Anybody got a hallelujah down on the inside? I say, does anybody have a hallelujah down on the inside? <laughs> I thought mother was about to sing that trouble in my way. And I think the whole church was ready to go in with you, mother. Go back to C-sharp. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. I have to cry sometime. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. I have to cry sometime. I lay it awake at night. I lay it awake at night. But that's all. That's all right. I know that Jesus, Jesus you will be set after a while. After a while. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cross some time. I have to cross some time. Oh, trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. Cross some time. I have to cross some time. I lay it awake at night. I lay it awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. I know that she, Jesus, he will fix it. I know that she, Jesus, he will fix it. I know that she, Jesus, he will fix it. I know that she, Jesus, he will fix it. After a while. After a while. It's okay to go in worship. Jesus, she will fix. Jesus, she will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, she will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, she will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, she will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, she will fix it. That was for Mother, Mother Martin. Let's go to E flat. And then Pastor Burkett said he's feeling a little churchy. Anybody, sometimes you just can't help yourself. When you think of the goodness of Jesus and you all of a sudden get a quicken in your hand. I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm not. Am I talking about the right church? Let's see here. There was a song that we used to sing. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all the days of my life. Come on, let's say it again. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you. Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. Thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all the days. When I was lost, Lord, you found me. I was lost. 
Lord, you found me when I was lost. Lord, you found me, and I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many of you thank God on today? Amen. We used to have testimony service. Amen. And we would talk about the goodness of Jesus and how he healed from cancer, delivered from diabetes. And amen. A lot of things. And nowadays, people don't really understand that God is still in the healing, delivering, and setting free business. If you believe that, I just want you to say, I believe God. I believe God. Amen. I believe God is still delivering. Yes. He is still healing. Yes. And he is still setting the captive free. And we ought, to, we ought to tell somebody. People don't tell folks about Jesus anymore. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to tell people about Jesus Christ. I encourage you even as you consider you're giving because God has said in his word that if you give, he will give back to you. Shaking together and running over. I want you to consider that. A lot of you even now don't even know how you've made it because you've been faithful to God. He'll take your little and multiply it exponentially. You won't even know, how did I pay that bill? All of a sudden, it'll just say pay. You're like, Lord, how did that happen? Because if you're faithful to God, God will be faithful to you. So everything that you have, you should give it back to God. Amen. I want to encourage you to give on today. Amen. We don't have offerings like we used to. We just depend on you to give. And God is going to bless us that whatever you give to us, that God is going to bless it and use it for his glory. There are three ways to give. Cash app. You can cash app us here at dollar sign NMT50. You can also zell us at new underscore mission at att.net. You can also send us a check at the, to the New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ, 4700 West Polk Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60644 on the corner of happy and healthy. Amen. You ought to act like you happy and healthy. Amen. Folks is going to the bar. They going to the bar for one purpose. And that's to get lit. So when we come in the house of the Lord, amen. Whatever's going on, I just believe in that. I, 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 didn't, I didn't grow up in, a, in a, just a quiet way. I believe in running from that wall to that wall over there. These knees don't let me run, but I can still lift up my hands and give God praise. So I'm thankful today. At this point, amen, it's time for the word. We encourage you to give. Please give unto us. Amen. Also, by way of announcement, special announcement, 
Amen. On Thursday, September 16th. All right, I'm not going to make that announcement. It's happening. Okay, Thursday, September. <laughs> All right, we ain't perfect. I know neither are you. Thursday, September 16th, Amen. from 2 to 5 p.m. Amen. There will be a vaccination and food giveaway. Amen. We had our uh, 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 a program here a month ago. And this is the follow-up. So those of you that were vaccinated come between 2 and 5 p.m. on Thursday, September 16th. And those of you that need to be and want to be vaccinated, amen. Food, COVID-19, vaccination and food giveaway. Go to our website at nmtkojic.org and you will be able to find this flyer. And on that flyer, there is a... Uh, one of these little things here, think I'm a jiggums. Amen. You take a picture of it and you can you know, QR code. Thank you. I'm, I don't know all this stuff now. It's a QR code. Amen. But this QR code will allow you to register. Please register. Also on this week, on this coming Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, our state jurisdictional women's convention will be going forth. There will be two nights three nights really, but there will be one night in the Marion, Illinois uh, downstate. Uh, on Wednesday night will be in Peoria. And on that Thursday night, uh, the services will be here at the New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ. And our own state supervisor is none other than Mother Ivana Perkett. <laughs> Better known to me as Ma. Amen. That's Ma. So I'm on Mother Perkett. Amen. We have a district missionary here, Mother Rosie Martin. She is the host district. And on that night, none other than our assistant state supervisor, Mother Alberta Porter, will be bringing the word. All right. We have a lot of things going on. We love you with the love of Jesus. At this time, we're going to ask uh, Mother Martin to come back and introduce our speaker for today. I'm excited, amen, and then we're going to hear from this group, and then we will go further. Amen. amen. Somebody clap your hands. Hallelujah. We're excited about the Lord, about living for Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank God for all things. I truly thank God again for my pastor and uh, all the elders, Elder Terry. Thank God for you, Elder. Amen. God is just good all the time. Thank God for Sister Thelma. All the saints. Praise the Lord. God is just good all the time. All the time the Lord is good. He is good. Thank God for our speaker on today. Praise the Lord. Sister Missionary uh, Charlene Allen. Praise the Lord. Young woman that came up through this church, through this ministry. Praise the Lord. She have did all, went through all the requirements. Praise the Lord. So once you do that and you done been to state and all that you get the, that paper you come out of there you can drive where anybody else drive amen 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 so it is the Lord you meet his requirement then you can do what anyone else can do I mean or teaching or whatever you know praise the lord we don't want to get out of our lane out of order but stay in your lane stay in order hallelujah thank god at this time let let us no we're gonna hear the praise team i'll get this together after, <laughs> after what <while>, y'all <laughs> amen let's say amen for the praise team they are really ministering to our hearts, our souls. 
And after they will have finished, then we will stand and receive our missionary, missionary Charlene Allen to bring us the word today. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. How many of you know that our God is mighty? Our God is mighty. Come on, join in with us. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, I dare you to look up to the skies. Lord, you're mighty. 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 Say it again. Lord, you're mighty. 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 One more time. Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come on, Sister Angie, help us. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name and all the earth. Hey! 
angels bow before the mighty God we serve. Praise in this place. All glory and all honor. All praise. Give us some praise in this place. If he healed you, if he delivered you, give him all praise. giving them praise. If it had not been for the Lord, who's on my side, I don't know where I was going to be. I don't know if I could make it the next morning. So as long as I got breath in my body, I'm going to give them praise. I don't know about you, but my God is mighty. He's mighty in power. He's mighty to deliver. He's mighty to heal. He's mighty to set free. So why don't you give them praise in this place? You didn't make it on your own. It was because of the mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 All glory. All honor. And all praise belong to our mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not good with holding mics. Don't y'all have something? I'm not good with holding mics. I, just, I can do my best, but I'm really not good with a mic in my hand. I can try to do my best, but then I, I, I'm just not good at times with a mic in my hand. I hope y'all can hear me. I hope everybody can hear me in this place. Because I'm just not good. Y'all have never seen me hold a mic. I, I'm just not, just how God uses me. So uh, if I'm just not good with mics. Hallelujah. That's why I gave me when I was in kindergarten and I tried to speak lightly like the other girls in my class. And my teachers came, came to me and told me, not you, Cheryl. You speak yeah. out. You know, these other girls, but that's not for you. So I guess that's why God gave me the voice that he gave me. I think I'll pin something on Pastor. Next time, you know, come pin something on me because I'm just not good with mics. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. morning, this 
got the noon God. I'm asking you, God, to allow me, and I appreciate you for using me, God. Allow me to be your servant, God. Allow me to refresh you, God. Allow me to minister to you, God. Allow me to communicate back to you your word, God, and your word only, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for the angel of this house. We pray for all the trained men and women up in this house, God. We pray for just that the word will go forth and fall on good soil, God. We pray that the uh, the word will have free course, God, that it will not return void, God. And God, I'm just asking you, God, to anoint my lips of clay, God, and try to help me to remember what you gave me, God. God, there is no disadvantage this morning. And even if we have one, we don't let the enemy know our disadvantages, God, that we can use it as a strategy against us, God. And he is a strategic devil, but we serve a strategic God. So yeah. Mother Perkett, Mother Perkett has been with me ever since I came through the doors. Mother Perkett, Mother Martin, and I honor these ladies on today. This is Women's Day that our pastor allows us to be up here and, and have something to say. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the Word if you want to. You can open your Bibles. Um, and if you don't, you can just follow along. Hallelujah. I think the people here have enough confidence in me to know that I'm only going to say like Michael, what the word says. So we're going to start off with yeah. Exodus 15 and 3. Right. It says, the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Revelations 12 and 7 say, and there was war in heaven. Mm -hmm. hmm. Everybody want to go to heaven? Say, there was war in heaven. Well, that's past tense, Pastor, because Jesus took care of that. Yeah. There was. You know what? This ain't is war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Somebody tried to come up there. War in yeah. tried to come. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought. This is a bold battle. Mm -hmm. Say, Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. Yeah. This is how your children come up, the dragon come in your house and fight against you, mother and father. Yeah. Against the dragon. Mm -hmm. And the dragon fought and his angel. He had some help. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to need some help. Mm -hmm. And prevailed not. Was their place found anymore in heaven? So these, these guys got some people up there. These once again, yeah. Hallelujah! Uh -huh. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, come on, help me out, Terry. Called the devil, you know the word, mm -hmm. and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Come back to me. I like that. It's like you know that. Yeah. I know you read the Bible. You can talk back with me. He was cast out. Yeah. So we got enemies all around us. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. 
them to make war with the saints. Ezekiel 28 and 13, it said, God has been in Egypt. He's been in the garden. He's been in your garden. The garden of God. He was in the garden of God. Every stone was to cover. The cyrus, the topaz, the sad, the pearl. We get a little piece of jewelry on us. Little car, put some little shiny stones around it. On my steering wheel. You ain't no match for the devil. to the Lord, that these made war with King Cyrus. All these nations had got into a war. And guess who was there? Who had moved over there? Lot. He, Lot was a man who had a, Lot was yours. Let's put it that way. Look at this grass green on the other side. Because that's what he can't play on the chair. God got first. And there came one that escaped the told Abram, the Hebrew. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive in the war, talking about this means war, he armed his trained servants. Nobody in the world is coming to us telling us nothing. Now, this means 
It says, and he uh, trade, trade from a child.
children of Israel. You had uh, Samuel. And Eli's children was lost in the war. David, well, let me go real quick. We got women of war. Rahab, I mean, Deborah is dead. Uh-huh. But she went to the king, the commander, and said, God has saved it for you to go and fight for us, the children of Israel. Uh-huh. And he said, well, the God didn't tell me. If you go with me,
he got in some, and I, I didn't get through. Uh, that whosoever believed on him will not lose in the battle for your soul. Because that's what the devil is ultimately after. A third of uh, what did he say? He came, he fell, Jesus kicked him down. Jesus is not fighting with the devil. In the army, praise the Lord, everybody. This means war. This means war. Amen. How many scared people we have out here fighting? Amen. You can't be no coward soldier. Amen. Listen, let me tell you this. Uh, Sister Charlene brought a very relevant message on today. And it is something that all of us should take to heart. You hear this word, cancel culture. That is the word that is a phrase that is constantly being thrown out in space. And what they do, they assault your very DNA. They assault and tear up your foundation that that you stand on they tell you it's false so we got to fight we got to fight she said the scripture we wrestle not against flesh and blood it's not your children it's not the president it's, it's not the governors but it's that that's within them so we that carry the banner of Jesus Christ we have to make up our mind that we're going to stand up for the Lord against everything that everybody is telling us. And we're going to do what the Bible says. The Bible says, be ye holy. What? Come on, what does the Bible say? Be ye holy as I am holy. So it's not a request, but it's a mandate. God requires that we be holy. Amen. So sometimes we're going to need some folks, you know, fighting. You can't be all nice and pretty about it. You got to be out your mind sometimes. And can I say this? And I know we're way over on time, but can I say this? All of you that are parents and grandparents, we're going to have to be in the, uh, the trenches for our children. A amen. We're going to have to be in the trenches for our children. All these young men and young girls that are out here killing and robbing and stealing we're going to have to be in the trenches and we're going to have to grab the horns of the altar and stand before this devil and say you can't have mine where's that hammer at we're going to need that hammer the hammer which is the word of God and we're going to have to stand up and say not mine you can't have my family ain't that what the song say you can't have my family is there anybody that's really going to be serious about this that's what she was talking about. You've got to be dogmatic about this war that we are in. Amen. Listen, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming so soon. I encourage you, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, come on, get it right. Get it right. People are dying by the tens of thousands every day. Young people. 
I'm amazed at all of the young people that were going to funerals. They just get sick and die. This virus is taking our people out of here. And I don't know about you, but I want to have a praise party with mine in heaven. Amen. I don't want to be there and say, where's my daughter? Well, she didn't make it. No, I'm going to get her ready now. All of them, all of them. And you ought to have that mindset. I'm getting all mine ready. Be like, what's the word say? As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. So any soldiers out here on today, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I ask of you, I beg of you to pray this prayer of faith with me. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, say this with me. I'm a sinner. And I deserve to die. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me. Make me whole. Be the Lord of my life. I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior. And from this moment forward, I'm saved. I'm saved through your sacrifice, your shed blood. Now, Father, fill me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, thank God. Come on, somebody, give God a hand praise on today. What I want you to do is to call us at 773-287-0817 or even email us at new.mission50 at outlook.com. Amen. Come on back and see us again on next week, and we will be doing the same thing that we're doing now is giving God praise. Amen. I pray for every form of sickness. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Come on, reach your hand out and just touch right where you are. I come against every form of illness and sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, it must go. Father, I come against the spirit of sorrow, the spirit of sadness and depression in the name of Jesus, I pray. And Father, I pray now for a spirit of joy in my brother and the spirit of joy in my sister in the name of Jesus. Restore the joy. Come on, somebody. Those of you out there, you in a state of depression, but I come against the the devil in the name of Jesus in your life, it cannot live in your heart. It cannot be in your body, in your life. In Jesus' name, I declare it to be so. You are a soldier and you are more than an overcomer in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I, I claim it to be so. Come on, saints. Praise God for those that are going through. I declare it. I declare it to be so. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I give you all the glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Come on back and see us again. Always remember Jesus. Jesus. Always. Jesus, Jesus, always keep him on your mind. Father God, we thank you. We bless you for the word. We pray, God, for those that are going through in Jesus' name. Thank God. Well, I say unto one, I say unto all, watch, pray, praise, read your Bibles every day. And live holy in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on back and see us next week. Come on back and see us next week.